Good morning, friends. This is Gary Dickinson, and you're here with me at the Gabon Advanced School of Theology. Do you have your coffee? It's time for coffee with the pastor. I'm sure that many of you have been out shopping this last week. Uh, Black Thursday has already gone by, and many of you have certainly done a lot of your Christmas shopping already. I know my sister, Beth Moss, she is so organized. I know she's got it all done. My mom is the same way. I'm a little bit more of a procrastinator. But this week in my personal devotions, I came across the story of Moses when he's giving the last words to, to Israel in Deuteronomy. And I want to read that because I think it's really important for us in our Christmas season, just having passed Thanksgiving. It's found in Deuteronomy chapter 8 and verse 11. And God says through Moses, Take care lest you forget the Lord your God by not keeping his commandments and his rules and his statutes that I have commanded you today. Lest when you have eaten and are full and have built good houses and live in them, when your herds and flocks multiply, your silver and gold is multiplied, and all you have is multiplied, then you lift your heart up or your heart is lifted up and you forget the Lord your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt. And let's drop down now to verse 17. This is Deuteronomy chapter 8 again. Verse 17, Beware lest you say in your heart, My power and the might of my hand have gotten me this wealth. Verse 18, You shall remember the Lord your God, for it is He who gives you power to get wealth, that He may confirm His covenant that He swore to your fathers as it is this day. Every ability that I have, whether it be physical, mental, emotional, God gave it to me. The proof is, you see people every day who are handicapped, who have uh, low intelligence, who just seem like they can't catch a break. So the Bible is telling us through Moses that we should be thankful to God for even the ability to create wealth. God is not against wealth creation, not at all. God is against pride. God is against the person who says, I, I earned this, this is my money. Remember the Waltons? For those of you who are old enough to remember the Waltons, I remember watching it faithfully every week as a kid. And the father would always say as he was praying, Lord, we want to thank you for this food. You know that it's because we work so hard and that's why it's here. Something along that line. And that's, that's pride. And that was the American uh, way of saying something that, well, yeah, I know that there's a God and all that, but it's by, I, I work for this money. The truth of the matter is, every ability that I have comes from God. Every strength, every bit of intelligence, every bit of craftiness that, that enables me to find a niche in the marketplace and to work hard and accumulate wealth, God is behind that. Without God's blessing, I have nothing. So I want to remind us, as you remember that you can say that in French, I can, I can say, I want to remind us that Every gift I have, every capacity, every blessing I have comes from God, including the ability to earn money, to save money, and to accumulate wealth. So as you're going about buying Christmas presents, think about somebody less fortunate than you. All year long, we take care of our own needs. This is a time, I think, where we need to say, who can we help? Is there somebody less fortunate than me? Is there somebody that just hasn't caught a break? It's time, I think, for us to say, Lord, you gave everything I have to me, so I'm going to give a portion of it back to you. So in your Christmas gift purchasing and buying, ask the Lord, Lord, who can I bless this year with the wealth that you've helped me to accumulate? This is Pastor Gary, and I want to say, I hope you have a wonderful post-Thanksgiving season. Are you still eating Thanksgiving leftovers? I know Janice and I are, and it's wonderful. I ate so much at Thanksgiving. We were at Lance and Heather Al's house for Thanksgiving. They're coming to us for Christmas. But we just want to say, may the Lord bless your Christmas shopping season. Use it for the glory of God and to say to other people, everything I have comes from God. May the Lord bless you. We're having coffee together. This is Coffee with the Pastor here in Libreville, Gabon. May the Lord bless you this week.